Next question is from David GTZ09. What are foods that get a bad rap that are actually generally good for you? Oh, I got a good one. Rice. Yeah, white rice is a good mm. one. This, you know, there was a hmm. maybe not so much now, but I mean, for a long time, it was like have brown rice because it's whole grain. There's more fiber. It's better for you than white rice. And although it does have more fiber and it's whole grain and all that stuff, and you know, white rice essentially they take that part off. And it's a little bit more processed. Mm -hmm. The truth is brown rice is harder to digest. It contains what are called anti-nutrients, which actually prevent the absorption of other things. And absorption and digestion is a very important factor to consider. So white rice for most people is actually healthier yeah. uh, than brown rice. Not to mention brown rice sucks. It doesn't taste yeah. good at all. Yeah. White, the, ri white rice is like a million times better. Oh, and when you flip too. it around, you look at the labels. I mean, you are like splitting hair difference I on know. the breakdown. Like that's a great point you bring up. But I mean, when, when you, you know what it reminds me of another one is uh, chicken thighs. Mm. I mean, I, I got sucked into the chicken breast, you know, movement <laughs> in the fitness space. And that's all I ate for decades was just chicken breast. Dry ass yeah, chicken dry breasts. ass chicken breast. And like, as I started to understand nutrition and, and healthy fats and that all started to come together for me. And I looked at the, again, looked at the chicken breasts and looked at the chicken thighs, flipped them around, looked at the, the things that I was really looking for with the calories, the fat, the protein. I'm like, oh my God. And then when you taste the difference between a chicken thigh versus a chicken breast, it's like night and day difference. So yeah. that would be another one. So would a uh, fatty steak. So yeah, how about a ribeye or red something? Meat. Yeah, yeah red meat gets a bad rap. In the bad rap, yeah, because of all the different political motives out there. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a staple food that we've had for ever, you know, and it's something that provides nutrients. It's very bioavailable. Uh, obviously, there's like you know people out there that you know might have a different reaction to it. There's always going to be individual variances, but you know, for the majority of people, red meat actually is is pretty good for you. Yeah, and I want to say this: if you're overeating and you're not active, almost any food. Can become bad, and the reverse yeah. is true. If That's you're right. Un, if you're under eating your calories, you get away with a lot more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like you know, oh, I'm eating healthy. This is, uh, you know, this is a natural food. This is bananas and yeah, potatoes. Context and, matters here. And you're like, well, yeah, but you're you're obese and you're eating way too many calories. So those are all now unhealthy for you. So that makes a big difference uh, as well. Um, you know, I, this is maybe not an issue so anymore, but it was uh, when I was you know training people back in the day. Egg yolks. Uh, whole eggs, man. Yeah. Whole eggs or That's organ another, meats. Another for good one. Yeah. Even organ meat. You know, doctors used to recommend you give this stuff to your kids before they invented multivitamins and stuff. So, mm -hmm. oh, your kid's low in iron. Cook them some liver or, you know, they need more full, of these other nutrients. Acid, yeah, yeah, give them some, some egg yolks. And all of a sudden we were thought, you know, butter was another one that we thought, you know, was really bad. Here's one that I think people still might think is bad. And a big, it depends on how it's fried. Okay, so the oil that it's fried in. But generally speaking, if your calories are good and you're fit and stuff, uh, pork olive rinds. Or, oh, I was going to say olive oil is another one that people think because it's an oil, you think it's bad and stuff like that. Oh, very healthy. Right. I think a lot of people know that. But like pork rinds are, I mean, it's straight up, you know, fat, skin, fried. But if your calories are pretty good, um, especially if you're eating a diet that's really low in carbohydrate and you're trying to go in that direction, it's actually not a bad snack. But there's a, there's a difference, right? If you buy the ones that are fried in oils that aren't so great versus ones that are fried and oils that are, you know. I would, I, you know, you kind of just gra uh, graze right over the uh, olive oil. Uh, olive oil and butter, I think, are two things that have had a bad yeah. rap forever that I use almost daily. That's because we grew up in the well, fat is bad era. Yeah, and they also would would caution about like cooking it, uh, you know, under too high of a temperature that uh, it it would become, you know, uh, problematic for for people. But I mean, they, the, that that minimal, yes, yeah, very minimal the effect. Minimal. Um, here's one: salt. Salt gets oh, a yeah. bad rap oh, that's still a big one. Big one. today, and I'm going to tell you something, except for highly sensitive individuals with blood pressure issues uh, where they need to be careful with their sodium, salt is actually, it's, not only is it good for you, it's essential. I mean, humans literally fought wars over salt. This is true. That's how important it is for our survival. And when you read studies that look at healthy populations, Higher sodium intakes are actually connected to longer lifespan. If you're active and you work out and you sweat and your diet's normally good, uh, you don't want low sodium. Low sodium in that case actually it can be correlated to uh, worse health outcomes, worse performance, uh, you know, electrolyte issues, stuff like that. That's why when we started working with LMNT, 
they're an electrolyte company that actually uses appropriate levels of sodium. So if you're drinking electrolytes for the electrolytes, because you're like, I need electrolytes, you want a good amount of sodium. That's the most important of all those electrolytes. Otherwise, uh, it's just kind of you know a waste of time. In fact, I think the original Gatorade was way more higher. Yeah, the majority was was sodium. It was higher in yeah. sodium than they eventually you know yeah. because you know of course the no, media yeah. made it sound like sodium super bad. So that's one of my favorite ones.